she follows her around, even if they're not playing. Bilo's just walking, and Avni runs up and kind of puts her hand on her back and walks with her. Bilo is a surrogate mother to her. She's the nicest cat I've ever met. And she said that this monkey is just really, really injured and she didn't go electrocuted. With wild animals, they just don't handle recovery very well. They're scared. Philo just came right up and walked right in and they started snuggling. It was immediate. We were like, okay, this might actually be a good thing for Osney for her recovery so that it can help reduce her stress because monkeys are really creatures of fruit. They want a family. They were pretty attached pretty quickly, especially Avni de Billo, because I think she was such a comfort to her while she was scared and alone. Like, she'll just follow her from place to place to see what she's up to. Avni really likes to groom Billo. She just ruffles through her hair and pulls things out. She pulls her whiskers and Billo's just like, whatever, you know. Billo's, she's super friendly. She'll come up to her, go play. Avni's covered really quickly and she was healed. We decided to do what we call a soft release. She wouldn't really be able to survive without us supplying food for her. Once we did the soft release, she was like, I'm free. So she avoided us for a little while. She's come back down to below. I find her in the puppy area all the time. The little ones, they're a little bit more fun for her because they play. Watching her play is really hilarious because she has no fear. She's like a little acrobat. I've seen her jump on the sheep. I'll be more independent. She is branching out and playing with everybody now, but then she still always comes back to below and you just catch them and they're just chilling and taking a nap together. Their best friends.